Hey, welcome to the first 30 minute follow along workout. My name's Coach Nadelkoff, and we're doing this to get people, people engaged, social distancing will come into play, but most importantly, we hope that you donate to the Feeding America program. It'll be right with the YouTube link with these, all these episodes will be a part of. This is episode one, game one. And again, these are geared towards third through ninth grade, but any grade, boys or girls, can work at their modifications. Again, three things to do. Have fun, work hard, and persevere. Have fun, work hard, persevere, and let's get after it right away. Two ball station, let's go. Five minutes. Okay, you guys to go about 10 to 12 seconds. 10 to 12 seconds. service hours, but more importantly, again, Feeding America. Please click on that button, make your donation. We're going to do one step, one ball, one step, one ball. You're going to basically do two bounces, one stationary, then one step with the bounce. Ball in hand at the same time. Go ahead and show it. And in 
leg up at the same spot at the end. Get it. One time through, next guy through. We're going to do four. We're going to do four attempts at each person. Again, attack with the outside end, retreat. Go hard diagonal and then retreat. Go diagonal and retreat. One ball. One ball. Yeah, stay to the inside of the pole. Stay on the inside of the pole. Come on. Come on. Keep looking forward. 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 Next side of the pole. Really go off. Change direction out of the door. Tap. Tap. That's okay. James Hart. 
We have no crisp balls. The idea is to develop confidence with the ball, and then we'll go into live action. Go ahead, Brian. South cross push. Ready? Let's go. Good. Maximize your talent, and that's what we want you to do. Right hand, left foot, right hand, left foot. You're going to go four trips. Command, ready? Keep it a straight line. Let's go. Right hand, left foot. Good, straight line. You got those lane lines in the game. You don't have pumps, use, use something else. Especially at a younger age. It's amazing how many people can't even make the, 
to actually score. Now, you're going to come out with your left hand, left hand, you're going to come out half speed and all of a sudden accelerate. You're going to accelerate and you're going to come out and command them back. Then you're going to go out half speed and then accelerate. You're going to do four tricks. So the big thing is two things. One, change speeds. Two, stay straight so you can get by the defender as quick as you can. Four trips, half speed, full speed between the legs. Ready? Go. Good. Again, we're, let's put some finish moves in. Key thing is to have balance. Go hard, but have balance so you finish. Too many guys miss easy shots because they have no balance. Okay? Let's go around the main line for a little bit. What is three cone drill? You know all better than anybody. Okay, you do one on one side. We're not quite at the wings, but we'll do our best to the distance of that. Okay, first one is simple play. And again, you want to get And then, you know, come back and do another. It's better to do 10 really good trips than try to do 50 that are not very well done. They don't have the full intent. Okay? First, you're always going to ball toss on the inside towards the top line. So many guys don't rip the ball. You've got to rip it behind you below your knees. If you don't, the defense has already got you at a disadvantage. So they're going to be ball tossing, ripping it, and going between simple layup. You're going to do about three, three at each side. So you're not going to. Ball toss here. Between the legs, super leg. Slow. Your, your fastest point should be the last pull. Go ahead. Good. Fastest point should be at the end. Good. Next one. Keep it going. Good, good, good. Change speed. Change height. Change speed. Change height. Ball toss. Rip it behind, underneath the leg. Do not play tall. Play at the more in a 30 minute memory. This is 30 minute running clock. You want to do more? I recommend doing this workout a couple of times then go to the next one even though we'll publish more real quick. This time we're going to do the same thing but we're going to go inside out. Jab step with the inside foot. Really throw the shoulder. But when they finish they got to finish with a reverse leg. Okay so inside out three times finish with the opposite hand and reverse side. Let's go. Jump. That last hole should be fairly tight. 
to the second goal. So you're all of a sudden you're going full speed and change direction with your legs and hit that little eight foot shot. Again, balance. When you come to a jump stop, stay off your heels. Keep your zigzag effect. Don't be leaning one way. Don't be a, don't be a game man. Don't be the tin man. Okay? Not in show between ball toss between uh, ball ball toss last in the last turn between the legs. Go ahead. Tap. Hit that little jump shot. Now as you get older, he may show a floater. He may show some type of run. Go ahead. Lean the wrist. Good. Again, such a lost start. As soon as he does, let him rip. Ball toss, rip. That's how tip is number one. Number two, change direction. Number three, rise up on that jump. Get to that lane. Really push that last dribble up. That last dribble should get you to the paint of the lane. Good. Again, stay out those heels. Whether you're one, two, or a, just a hop shooter or a one two shooter. One more and four and four. Try to get off your feet, stay off your feet. Nice little simple rock. Good. Excellent. Good. Now, last one for this so this is, You're going to come down, and this time you're going to bounce it out. This time you're going to do the same thing, but instead of these two legs, you're going to go inside out. And bounce it up. You're going to bounce it up and you're going to get to the corner. So it's a little ball here. You're going to come here and then put it between the legs and get back to the rim. So you're going to take it in like you're going to try to go inside out and then it's not there, inside you take it and make the guy go with you and then back between the legs and get to the rim with the leg. That one? Go ahead. Good. Good. Nice little floor. Went off two feet. No heat. Okay, if you want to shoot it on the way up, it sounds funny, but it makes less tension on the kicks, kicks tension out of the shot. One more trick. We're only showing you one side of that. Remember, in your workout, in your workout, you're gonna have to do both sides. You do left and right. I jump on your head. Welcome to the clay courts that I would use. Good, good, good. Excellent. Pretty strong. Right. Now, let's go back to the finish now. This is what you got. You're going to come down and you're going to blast. You're going to take that middle cone. You're going to take that middle cone and we're going to come to a, a jump stop finish. Now, you can, you, you can move them however you want. You just like routine and work at it, work at it. You're going to come down and you're going to blast to that second goal if you go in. Then you're going to go between the legs and if you're not capable, just do a simple cross. And you're going to come to the goal and you're going to come to a little two foot jump stop. Just like Dylan Oak is so good. The best players they've ever had in the last eight years all go off two feet. That means every player on the team. So when you come down here, you're going to come down, rip through, it's called this fit. Now, if you're not big enough, you're not planning to do this, just take a little jump shot. Okay, but the rest of the guys, this is good through, don't trap. Rip across your face and pinch. These guys, it's called the vicious pinch. Ready? Go ahead, go. Blast in the middle, pull them and go. Okay, ready? So jump shot, rip, good. Keep those, again, land on two, leave off two. Land on two, leave off two. Good, that's rip. Where's the secondary defender coming from? Three trips. Good. Now, if you're watching this in live time, you hit pause because you want to do the other side. Three or four times. Good. Jump stop right now. We're going to show that in the minutes across the next second. One more second. Jump stop, no break the size of this is pivot. Again, that last dribble's got to have a little extra pop, eyes on the prize. Boom, good. Now, for a little more advanced, we're going to do what's called, some people call it pro-op, some people call it hip scars. The bottom line is, you're avoiding 
the charge, but there's not that much traffic. This is, pivot is good when there's a lot of traffic, aren't you? This is when there's less traffic and you can be a little more loose. We're going to go the same thing, but watch what he does. We're throwing the inside hip and inside shoulder across. Hips across, throw it. Boom, very good. Don't worry about missing. Don't worry about missing. Good, really rip it. Yep, rip it across. Never rip it above, keep it above your chin. Some of them are going say, chin. Excellent, good job. One more, two, two, one more, you've done two, you Good. Like I said, we're going to keep it to 30 minutes, but you can elongate it, shorten it up, however you want. Again, modify, modify, or extend, extend. Again, these are moves whether we were teaching freshmen at the college level or second, third grade. So just adjust to your talent level and your age level. Now, both boys are scoring and so many ass star series. One point at the point as we're on the base. One of these. Plus. Now, first one is NASA. They're going to come around. And you got to relax. You got you to gotta relax and hit that jump shot. And again, when they come around, the idea is to go half, I always say, let's go half speed to the three. Let's go half speed to this point, And then all of a sudden, accelerate. And get your hips down, land right, and go up. So half speed and full speed to finish up. Change your speeds, but have no tension in your shot. Shoot it on the way up and hold that follow through. Commit to the shot when you make or miss. Okay, four tricks. Just turn it Boom. Nice and relaxed. Good. Really just hit those feet. Land it like a tap. Land it like a tap. Good. Three tricks. Nice. Seems real simple. But think about how many shots we missed from 15 feet in. Or don't attempt. Because we're not comfortable. We want to shoot the three or get to the rim. Okay? Switch side over. Switch side. Next thing we're coming up. Again, this one. Little Bermuda triangle out of the out of NASCAR series. You're going to come down and you're going to turn the corner. Then you're going to go between the legs hard and then all of a sudden you're going to finish with the race. So you're changing the directions twice. Turn to the corner, half speed, full speed, and then here, change direction. So, a little twist on both little directions really we have to follow. Go ahead. Just saying, again, it could be a Stockton inside hand or an inside hand outside the foot. It could be a regular hand. Let's get out of here. Comes to the 30 minute follow along workout. 
Again, make sure you hit that button and make a donation if you can to the uh, Feeding America. It's going to be a big thing, unfortunately, that uh, our, we're in the situation, but we can make something good out of it. And again, they really need pantries across the nation for food donations or more than likely uh, money donations so they can distribute it the way they need to. Again, the last one, when it comes up, again, a little more things, a little more things, is a little step back. We're going to do the next part, but the key thing is balance and leverage. So we're going to come down hard, stay zigzag, and one bounce back, and stay zigzag. They want to make sure the hips, knees, and ankles are at end. As soon as you do this, and so you've got to keep your weight going forward, you can't fall left or right. Again, next run, a little step back, and you're going to hit the jump. Good, good clear. Not bad. Got a little tight the shoulders at the end, but good full work and jumping back. Got to be relaxed in the shoe with your upper body. Just like a good golfer, no tension in the swing. Good. And again, where should you fall? You should always fall two or three inches back to where you hit. You always fall forward. All shots got to go down that balance for the straight. Gonna happen in driveways, you know, like I said, going up in a clay court, that was normal. Good, excellent. One thing is, watch your feet. Are you falling forward? Are you swaying? But your feet are going forward. Come on, in, boys. Lay up your soles right up here. Right up here. Again, thank you for participating in game one, the 30 minute follow along workout. Again, we'll be putting about three or four again each week. Please click into this YouTube channel. If there's any questions, my email is allincoachin at yahoo.com. A-L-L, coach N, as it sounds, at yahoo.com. With any, any types of uh, uh, questions, whether it's about, you know, Feeding America, whether what type of workouts to adjust, but we'll be doing three or four a week. These guys are putting a service towards their school, but they're also more important trying to help people that need a little, I guess you'd say, not a hand out, but a hand, but a hand up. And it'd be great that if everybody could give a hand up to people in need. We'll see you soon. Catch you at the Dauber Dome.